Hey everybody, I hope things are going well this week for you. I hope you are making a lot of HNT. I hope you are not flatlined and I hope things are well. But my guess is some of you still have problems, as do I, and I'm gonna talk about them right now and how I solved some of them. Now, as many of you may have had happen, uh, you can look back and see the reports that were by uh, helium regarding some of the outages that occurred a few weeks ago. And then for me, I had a very odd thing happen, which is that both uh, my houses that use Xfinity and my houses, including my own, that use CenturyLink, both had internet issues, which required a technician to come out or to deal with someone on the phone and get things fixed. And unfortunately, that was itself its own fiasco. But in general, what saved me in this whole process is the ability to remotely manage the situation. Now, right now, many of my hotspots are back online. I have one that's still down and one that I just finally got fixed last night. So let's talk about the issues. Now, one of these is a sense cap and one of these is a rack wireless. So let's talk about the sense cap first. The sense cap is located at one of my tenants houses and unfortunately these guys just didn't know how to get the internet up. Uh, luckily with sense cap I'm actually able to watch what's what's going on. Um, I could see it come up, go down, come up, go down. I know this because I could see when the syncing was occurring and how many blocks were being synced. Uh, I also saw that uh, the time online was still the same, so it hadn't been unplugged, uh, but it seemed like their internet was going on and off and on and off. And it's a great feature to have something like this with SenseCap. Finally, they called me and we were able to connect with someone from CenturyLink and fix the internet problem. Now, that being said, I was really off uh, in terms of the blockchain. I was totally out of sync. But there is a fast sync option through this uh, dashboard. Only you have to be on the network. So I drove over there. I got on the network on my phone because I already have uh, their username and password for their Wi-Fi on my phone. I logged on to the SenseCap dashboard, and from there, I copied the CPU ID, and then clicking on the button for their Wi-Fi, because my SenseCap is connected via Wi-Fi, it opened up that IP address. That IP address then let me paste in the uh, CPU ID, and then from there, I was able to have the option of doing a turbo sync. What the TurboSync does is it creates a current snapshot of exactly what the blockchain is at that moment and saves it onto the, uh, the sense cap. So uh, I got a current version. It took about an hour for everything then to sync to that version. But after that, it was good. It was 100% synced. And about an hour later, I started uh, witnessing beacons. So... Yay. Now, one other thing I had to do in that process was because uh, CenturyLink actually did a total hard reset. It cleaned uh, the, um, the software and reset the software on the router. I had to set up the port forwarding again. Now, luckily, uh, I know the uh, the connection for that. It's, you know, 192.168.0.1. To get onto it, I happen to be, like I said, on their network. So I had to drive over, get on their network. Uh, and so I was able then to go to that address and using the information on the side of the router, which I had taken a photo of, I have the admin information and I was able to go in and reset it. So no big deal. Now, if you don't have access, in other words, you're, you're not uh, the, the admin uh, for these things, it could be a problem, uh, especially in the case of Xfinity, and we'll talk about that next. But uh, generally speaking, uh, Xfinity allows you to make these changes using their app or through their website, but you have to have 
uh, the username and password to the account to get in. So if you don't have that, you're not going to be able to do it. In my second situation, luckily that hasn't been the problem or so. I haven't seen it yet. But the second situation was I have a uh, person who I am paying to host my hotspot at their house. And so far, I think I'm going to be breaking even this month. But hey, I'm learning from this process, right? They've been down for about six days. And uh, first they were up, then they were down. So they had intermittent problems for a while. Then they finally had someone come out and fix it. It was fixed. And I just figured it was cycling or something was going on. It said it was offline, but who knows if the API is correct or not correct these days. So finally, after three days of waiting, I contacted them. I said, hey, can I come into your house and take a look at it? Now, luckily, I didn't need to. I went in anyway, but I didn't need to, as I found out. So I have two things that saved me. Uh, the first is that I know, uh, well, <laughs> the first is that I actually had a smart plug connected. And the smart plug allowed me to turn on and off the device. So before I got to the house, I turned off the device. And when I got near the house, I turned it on. Now, it takes about uh, a minute or two for things to get up and running. But once it does, when a rack wireless hotspot turns on, it has about five minutes where its Bluetooth connectivity works. And in this case, I had set that antenna in the attic. So I actually could get Bluetooth connectivity on the outside of the house and I checked it while I was sitting in my car and sure enough, what's the problem? The Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi isn't connected and I've seen this happen before. When there's intermittent problems with the internet, maybe you're too far away for a while or then you're close up or it's gone, whatever happens when it comes to rack wireless miners, it just disconnects. And it, it, it just, it shows, you know, the name of the, the um, Wi-Fi it's trying to connect to in sort of a gray color, and uh, but it just doesn't connect to anything. So I had to get it to forget that network. Now, in order to get it to forget that network, people say connect it to Ethernet. I don't have Ethernet available, but instead I tried to connect it to the Xfinity option that was around. And uh, sure enough, I was able to do that. Now, I think if I just tried to connect it to anything, that would have been fine. It would have asked me the question of, do you want to forget uh, this Wi-Fi? And you would say yes. Then it disconnected it. I restarted it. It was connected now, in this case, to that new Xfinity. But it would have been connected to nothing had you just chosen nothing. You can then scroll through what Wi-Fi connections are available, find the correct one, and hook it up again. Now, once it was hooked up, I did another restart. And after that, solid. So happy. Uh, now, that being said, though, this was about a day after the update that was sent to all the racks. So this morning, I check it out on Hotspotty. Now, Hotspotty is the only system that I have that actually tells me how far off the blockchain I am. And I was over 900 off the blockchain. But I figure, hey, that's okay. You know, it'll it'll be a while, but it'll, it'll work probably later this evening or maybe tomorrow morning. But I just checked it a little while ago, and now it's like 1,100 blocks off the blockchain. So it's getting worse. Now, I don't really know if this is true, that it actually is getting worse. To be honest, I kind of question the API. And unfortunately, Rack Wireless, through the diagnostics, only gives you a percentage. But I'd rather go back to the house, just be on the outside of the house, restart the Rack Wireless uh, Helium Hotspot, and check to see what the percentage is. Lot easier way to know. And uh, again, I don't have to bother the person whose hotspot it is. So I've learned that these kinds of tools, remote management tools, are really nice to have. Now that all said, because it hasn't actually started mining, it's still trying to sync up. I don't know if, uh, you know, whatever the technician did at Xfinity requires me to do a new port forwarding setup. So I will find out about that soon. But in other situations, it was not an issue. 
that doesn't seem to be an issue for Xfinity. It does seem to be an issue for uh, CenturyLink. So that's kind of the main information I wanted to give you today. Uh, hopefully, some of you, uh, this will be helpful in terms of why you are still sinking. Um, I'm having the problem. You're having the problem. Maybe this is what happens, and sometimes we just wait for it to keep sinking until finally a new update occurs. And even then, that may help for an instant. And when I say instant, I mean it might take 12 hours. Uh, option for rack, but I don't know what that'll do for Nebra or for any of the other options out there for you all. So just something to think about about why you're still syncing because you got the update, but you got the update a couple hours later and now it has to still catch up and it's taking hours and hours to catch up or maybe it can't catch up as fast as it should. I uh, hear now rack wireless is building its own dashboard and it's uh, its own way to do a fast sync uh, or turbo sync, as it were. So I'm excited. I hope that occurs, and I hope these problems are resolved. I really wish there was a all-encompassing tool out there that would give us data no matter what system we we're on. I kind of hope the Helium console would do that, but I don't think the Helium console is made for miners. It's just made for tools that are using the network, as it were. So... We'll see. Hey, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I'm going to have some other interesting videos out soon. I'd like to talk to you about the transmit scale. I want to talk to you about uh, best location in the house based off of some research I just did recently. And I'm going to also do one uh, about solar panels. I'm going to be testing out some solar panels using kind of a my own... Not my own system, but just an easily purchasable system out there that's not exactly made for setting up outside, but should at least be an interesting test for me. And we'll talk about that soon. So, hey, please keep watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this content. And I will see you all soon. Happy mining.